What's the word, guys? Try back again here to bring another video. This one's going to be talking about a theory. A theory about uh, the character Shane from The Walking Dead, pretty much. Uh, what it has to do with is um, Shane's behavior before he died in the show and uh, Shane being infected. So, as many of you guys will know, in episode 10, 18 miles away, uh, was it 18 miles out? Sorry, 18 miles out. We get to see Shane on the bus who cuts his finger and rubs some of the blood from his finger on the door with the same knife that he used previously to stab a walker on the fence. So there may have been, uh, you know, some of the virus from the walker on that knife and it may have reinfected him. Now, uh, it was cut out in the show. Basically, Rick stabs a zombie and then he basically says, okay, your turn and then Shane does one. But they cut it out. They don't show it. Uh, now, it was sort of, it sort of led us to believe that um, it was a plot hole because if, if Shane used that knife, then that knife would be contaminated and then later when he cuts himself with it, that would be, you know, he would then be infecting himself. Now, here's the thing. Uh, within two episodes after that, we pretty much get to see the death of Shane within a few, seemingly, a few days of the plot, a few days of the storyline. So, the question is, was Shane infected with a little bit of the virus that was causing him to become a walker uh, and killing him, basically? And uh, he just didn't really know it, and we didn't really know it. Because if you look at his behavior... You know, in the last episode where he's really like, you know, he's breathing really heavily. He doesn't look healthy. He's uh, like slapping himself in the face and kind of like, you know, got his mouth open while he's looking at Randall. And, and you could say that's the emotional thing that him working himself up to um, to do it, to kill him. And, and it is. I'm not saying it's not. And the same thing with him against Rick where he's breathing really heavily and he's, you know, acting crazy. And he doesn't look healthy after, well, he did break his nose against the tree. But, you know... Is it possible that that is all to do with the fact that he was infected with a little bit, just a little bit of the virus from that zombie from cutting his uh, finger on, uh, or his thumb was it, on uh, the bus, and it was just taking a while to take hold because, you know, uh, it, there wasn't much of it, so it was slowly taking hold. A few days later, it started to affect him, and he started acting crazy. He started slapping himself and sort of acting nuts, and and then he takes uh, Randall out, kills him, and then he goes after Rick. Because he's never really done anything like that before. Not really. I mean, you know, he did throw the uh, the wrench thing or whatever it was at, uh, at Rick when they were fighting. But uh, Rick started that fight. Rick pushed him first and knocked him down first. So um, could it be then inferred that uh, there's a possibility that Shane was infected by the knife on the bus? And because it was just such a little amount, it took a little while to uh, take hold. Uh, me personally, in terms of this theory... Um, I don't have a problem with that. I think that it fits 100%. If you want to believe that, if you want to say that he was and that determined his behavior afterwards because it was just starting to take hold, if you watch the episode again and you see his mannerisms, his behavior, his breathing patterns and everything, he really does seem very unhealthy. So there's a very real possibility that that was the situation. He also seemed to want, was talking to Rick in a manner to try to get Rick upset Maybe to pull his gun, maybe the plan was to have Rick pull his gun and then Shane to shoot him because he wouldn't shoot an unarmed man. But maybe the plan was he was trying to convince Rick to kill him because he knew he was basically already infected and he wanted to do what was best for the group and he wanted to die at Rick's hands instead of maybe he couldn't shoot himself, maybe he couldn't kill himself. Uh, and he also wanted to keep everybody safe, so he killed Randall first before doing that. Um, very interesting theory, and I think it fits 100% with the show. Uh, and, you know, they have said, I believe Glenn Mazzara did say that it was a plot hole. Or maybe he didn't say it was a plot hole, but he didn't answer it on The Walking Dead. He didn't really answer the question. He kind of was like, ah, you know, I don't know. So maybe he was infected just with a little, like a tiny, tiny bit. So it was taking a while to take hold. And, you know, there you saw that behavior afterwards. So is it possible that Shane was trying to get Rick to kill him because he kind of he kind of knew he was turning and he, he knew how he was feeling? And it was affecting his mind, his body, everything it was affecting him as a person. So, uh, you know, very interesting stuff. Uh, this has hit recently. A lot of people have been talking about this in the comments of my videos. And I do read comments of my videos uh, just so you guys know. The thing is, though, is that I'm getting so many right now. I'm getting over 100 comments a day. And I have a full-time job. And I try to do more videos. So I can't get around to all of them. But I would love to hear your guys' comments about this theory. I think it's very interesting. Uh, was Shane infected and slowly turning? And did that dictate his behavior uh, as he died? Uh, and also trying to get Rick to kill him. Did Was he in intending for Rick to kill him and did he know 
or did he, you know, did he know that he was infected or whatever, and he was just trying to get that to happen? So let me know what you guys think about the theory. Heavily interesting stuff. Uh, love to talk about in the comments. Uh, that's it for this year, guys. See you for the next one later. Peace.